Hello. I um, want to talk to you today about what it is that you really care about and also to share a little bit tea with you about what I really care about. Uh, the reason for that question has come about by because I've been reading a book, um, the, the purpose of the book being um, to help people to th really think about how they wisely use um, that the, the time that they have left to them in the second half of their lives and uh, believe it or not I probably am in the second half of my life um, and uh, one of the questions that comes at the end of, of the second chapter in the book is um, the question what is it that you really care about and how, do you spend your time focusing on that and in terms of my ministry, that's been a really helpful question to ponder. Because I find myself realising that one of the things that I'm really passionate about is helping people to encounter God in a very real way and helping them to grow in their discipleship so that they become more and more excited about what it means to have a relationship with the living God, but a relationship that doesn't just kind of stay the same, but a relationship that changes and grows deeper. Um, and not only that, but also to grow in relationship with other Christians so that um, the, the journey of discipleship, if you like, is one that's being done together in community. It's not being something that's just done alone. And actually, I would dare to say that I don't think you can do the journey of discipleship alone very well because actually the Christian faith, as I've, I've said before, is actually a faith that's a, a community of faith. That's part, that's the whole point in a sense. You know, Jesus talks, doesn't he, or Paul talks about the body of Christ. Um, we're not just, just uh, called to be doing this journey on our own. We're called to be doing it in community with others. And so the question for me is, you know, in terms of your Christian faith, what do you really care about? Do you care about wanting to, to grow closer to Christ? Do you care about wanting to deepen your relationship with him and with others? Do you care about becoming more and more like him as you discover what it means to be one of his disciples, one of his followers? And if the answer to that is yes, and I'm, I'm really hoping... <laughs> that for the majority of you the answer is yes, um, then I have something I want to just invite you to consider. As part of my answering that question, and I've given you the, what the answer for me is, you know, that, that my passion to see people grow in their discipleship um, and in community with one another, it's made me have a fresh vision over this for this next year 2023 to really help people to grow in discipleship in community with each other and um, one of the ways that I really would love us to be able to begin to do that and this is across the benefits is to be inviting people to join very small groups probably not more than about four people um, and to be giving those groups a really, really easy tool by which to encounter God through the Bible and to begin to discover more and more what it means to grow in discipleship together. My hope is that as people engage in those groups, they would make new friendships, they would discover more and more about what it means to be community with others, those groups would multiply so um, others would be invited into groups and maybe those groups would, would split into two so that uh, they don't get too big. So people get to know more and more people. They also get to know Christ in a much, much deeper and more real way. And that the church grows as a result. It grows in the depth of its discipleship. It grows in numbers. It grows in relationships with one another. It could all actually be really exciting. But it does require one thing, and it requires you to say yes. I'm recording this just before Christmas, and 
one of the things I'm going to be preaching about on Christmas Day is Mary and Joseph's willingness to say yes. And I ask you, at the beginning of 2023, are you willing to say yes in, when you're invited to be part of this? To give it a go? It's not going to take lots of your time, but I think it really could change your life as God changes your life as you encounter him in a real living way in community with others. So watch this space. There'll be lots more information coming out over the space of the next weeks and months. But I hope you're going to be one of those folk who, like Mary and Joseph that first Christmas, said yes to that call to follow God's call. God bless you all this 2023.